playoff game here, you, you'll go over there, I'm sure they'll be fired up. What's the challenge when you play uh, a team so close together? Uh, well, I mean, I think both teams will be familiar with one another. You know, the, the challenges are, you know, both teams are in different places. They have a different lineup out there now. You know, we're in a position where we have some players that will uh, be added to our roster because of injuries that will start to play now as well. So there's some difference there. And, but the main thing is we know it's going to be very competitive. I mean, they're, you know, a terrific program. We know it's a rival game. So we know it's going to be a hard fought game no matter how it looks. With the way both these teams have played this year, are you kind of preparing your guys for the rock fight? Uh, you know, every time we compete, you know, in a rival game, we prepare ourselves for a rock fight. We know it's going to be, you know, you throw the records out the windows. We know it's just going to be a, uh, a hard-fought game no matter what, and that's how we prepare. Talk about the throw the records out the window, but are, is anybody here, do they acknowledge the fact that you said has won the last nine in this series? Uh, you know, I don't think about that. So that's not nothing that, that's really on our mind. We're just looking at one game at a time when we compete against anybody. And, uh, and that's how we have to approach it again, you know, this game tomorrow. By the way, they played against Tulane and doubled them up on the boards. Uh, you know, they're a terrific rebounding team. They're physical. They're big. Those guys play with a lot of energy. So I mean, I can see, I can see them, you know, doing that on the on the offensive and defensive boards because they are a very good rebounding team. How's Dre Fuller coming along? I know he returned the other night. He kind of saw some limited minutes after missing the previous four. Is he getting close to being, you know, close to maybe to 100 percent to contribute? Yeah, he's getting there. You know, he's getting his timing back, his rhythm, getting back in shape. You know, when you miss that many games, there, you know, all those things kind of play a factor. But, but he's working his way back. You know, I think every day it's a little bit better. It's more encouraging. But the main thing is that he's healthy and he's able to get out there and compete. And I know he's excited about that, and so are we. When you look at how, going back to the game against Memphis a couple days ago, holding them under 60 points and yet still losing, is that what's maybe the most frustrating part of that kind of game? Well, I mean, our defense, like we said, has, has been holding up for the most part all season long. You know, we just have to do a better job of, you know, putting the ball in the basket. And that just takes time sometimes with guys that don't know each other. You know, they have to get a, get a chemistry or continuity. And, uh, and that's what we're working towards. But, you know, of course, I, I love where our defense is for the most part. But our offense still has to keep coming, and, and, and it will. What is it about close games? Is there some tactic at the end then you just get over with one and you're over the hump? Or? Well, I think you have to learn how to win. You know, that's something about learning how to win. And so you have a group of guys that hadn't been really with us. They have to learn how to win. And so we have to help teach them. That's, that's what coaching is. So our job is to help show them the way and give them a path to try to be successful. And that's what we're going to continue to try to do. And, and I think they'll get it. I think, they're, I think they're getting close. It's just a function of, like you said, getting that, that one game where you get over that hump where you start to, okay, here's the formula. Now we have something that we know works for us. And so that's what we're working towards. So do you see something in the last five minutes, the last three man minutes, to where you can look back on the game and say, well, I'm going to try this this time? Or? I, I don't think it's any special play or anything. I think it's more or less a mindset. You know, you have to ratchet up that level of intensity during that period of time. I think it's a, you know, it's an understanding time and score. Like, you know, which means value to basketball. You know, a turnover then is, is probably a little more prevalent than a turnover in the first five minutes of the game. You know, same thing with, with shot selection. A, a shot maybe that you were taking in the first five, ten minutes of the game may not be the same as you're going to take in the last five. And so it's just recognizing the differences and playing out of that situation. As a player, do you know that's coming? Or in the under four timeout, do you have to remind them, here we go, you know? No, we have to talk about it, making sure our guys are, you know, familiar with what's going on. You know, talk time and score, you know, what, what our expectations are, you know, where we want the ball to go, those type of things to make sure they stay organized in those moments. How much of an impact do you think moving back to three-point line this year now that you're, you know, more than halfway into the season, how much of an impact did that have, do you think? Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what the percentages are across the country, but I would gather that they're lower. And uh, I think that that foot or so has made a difference in, in guys shooting. And I think, I think it'll go back in another year or two where, where they're going to adjust and all of a sudden it'll be just like shooting at the previous line. But right now, in year one, I think everyone's suffering from the fact that uh, percentages are probably down. I know, I know in our league, and I'm looking at teams, are a little more down than they have been in years past. Tony Johnson, one of the first guys off the bench for you in the game against Memphis. And, so, and then he only played four minutes. What did you see from Tony, and why just limited minutes? Uh, Tony, I thought Tony did, did, did a fine job for us. I don't think, you know, he only got limited minutes because we had some guards in there playing, you know, playing pretty steady for us. Caesar was playing pretty solid for us. He's been playing a lot of minutes for us. And Dazon was not in foul trouble as well. So that's why his minutes were, were a little bit limited. But we believe in, in uh, Tony and what he's capable of doing. And, and you'll see Tony out there more as the season progresses because, you know, I think he's capable of, you know, helping us in some areas. One of the players you acquired late last summer, Sean Mobley, sitting out. What's the upside with him? How's he doing? And if you're sitting out, he played a lot of 
Uh, Sean, Sean's doing fine. You know, Sean's growing into the role. I mean, right now he's practicing for us. Of course, he can't play, so he's just learning our system. You know, I, I think he brings a lot, you know, to the table for us. I, I, I like his leadership. I've seen, I've seen that in him, even though he's sitting out. You know, I think he's going to be a terrific leader in our program. I love his work ethic, and, and I love his versatility on the floor. He's a, uh, you know, he's, he's, he has a very good, you know, high skill level. You know, he can pass it, he can shoot it. And so uh, I've been, I'm excited about, you know, adding him to the roster next year. It looked like it was a fun end of practice. The guys seem to still be engaged and, and playing towards an end result. Well, we realize, man, we have a lot to still play for. You know, we have to keep taking it one game at a time and, and, and keep fighting our way to where we want to be. But but all, those opportunities still exist for us, and our guys love to compete. You know, that's the one thing about us, and that's why I think we've always had opportunities in the games because we're going to compete. And so th that's usually the one thing you got to have in any, any good team, and our guys have exhibited that. Good. Thanks, Thanks, Coach.